Hey everyone, this is Kodemic, and for the first time in two years, we're doing a camera tour. This was kind of a staple type video for my channel for the longest time. Uh, some of my most, actually almost all of my most popular videos are these camera tours. Uh, and I hadn't really realized how long it had been since I've done one, and the last one I did was on my uh, Polaroid Andy Warhol camera is all I know it as really. So anyway, let's get started. This is the Polaroid Land Camera Square Shooter 2, released between 1972 and 1975. Uh, back in the day, these retailed for about $35. The value, this is kind of a common model anyway, and the value is anywhere from 5 bucks for kind of a, if it was a junky uh, quality uh, or a condition to this, which is, I would say, a near mint condition. I think I paid about 10 or $15 for it. A uh, near mint condition would probably be worth about $20. So you can see it's in really good shape. Uh, just a little dusty. It's been in my closet for a little bit. Uh, what makes it in mint condition, though, is this wrist strap. Uh, on almost every single Polaroid camera of this era, you have a similar wrist strap, but they're almost always broken off. It's kind of a, a rubberized, plasticky feeling. And uh, over time, it just kind of degrades and loses that, and or people just may break it off too because it may have been easier just to store it. So if we look on the back here, again, could you imagine cameras like this nowadays having instructions like that? So cameras with film selector, color. So uh, first off, it's type 88 color film, uh, which I've been trying to do a little research on uh, Polaroid Originals, which is really the only place where you can get authentic film uh and i didn't see it at first but i will keep digging and let you guys know if there is any film for this still a little scratch right there so if you really want to read oh yeah the t handle um is what they call these things over here let's see develop notice it doesn't say anything about shaking pictures again a very common misconception about polaroids is you uh, pull out the photo and you have to shake it no you don't have to do that and again, uh, I guess we could start off with kind of a tour of all the uh, buttons and things. So this side is where you, uh, it kind of folds open. We'll open that in a second, but it's just kind of a simple metal clamp design. On the front here, we have Polaroid Land Camera named after Edwin Land, of course. The Square Shooter 2. A couple adjustment knobs here, again, for, uh, as we mentioned, a compact flash cube. And so that would just uh, go into the side of it. And then the uh, film cartridge would actually have a small battery in it. So obviously this is no electronics in it. It's all with the film cartridge. Uh, you'll see at the top, if we can get that angle there, the uh, um, lens here, it's how you adjust for your uh, distance. Oh, wait, I couldn't imagine shooting anything 50 feet away with this. I really wouldn't recommend that. And then this is the uh, light and dark exposure knob. So if, again, it's kind of a dark environment. You'd uh, have it down here towards the dark figure. And up here, you'd have it towards the light figure. Should I say the light side and the dark side since Star Wars just came out? Again, you would just put the compact flash cube on and twist it on to lock. And then obviously you have your viewfinder here, which looks like it's still working. I can still see kind of the glass in there. Oh, that's kind of interesting. I actually hadn't looked through that yet. There is a uh, red dot, which I assume is the center. Let me take a look. Yeah, so there's kind of a, a red uh, viewfinder at the top and a uh, more clear one at the bottom where you'd want to line up your photo at. Again, very, very good condition. Let's open it up and see what's inside because I've never actually opened this one up before. So I uh, kind of use two fingers to uh, pull up on either side of this at the same time. Uh, don't pull on it too hard or else it may break. And just like that, uh, keep rollers clean. Uh, I've recommended in the past using Q-tips with alcohol on them. These do look like they have a little grime on them, so this is definitely used. Um, let's see what we have here. Good batteries necessary for all pictures. Change batteries at least yearly. So this is actually a... Uh,
so in this particular case, I was actually wrong, totally wrong. I've never actually opened this one up before. But for one, this is where the, uh, this is a film cartridge that's in here. This normally wouldn't stand the camera this long, which is actually really cool. I have no clue how long this is in here. And there's even some sort of residue on there. I'm not sure it's not sticky or anything. It's just kind of gunky. I don't know. But there is actually batteries in here, which is uh, extremely terrible, really. Those batteries look ancient. Um, I'm not sure how long they've been in there. I'm going to uh, pull them out immediately because if those started to uh, degrade, they could really get battery acid or anything all over. So we'll be right back. So it turns out the batteries did corrode in the back of this. So I got that all cleaned out. And now the camera is good to go to go back into the closet for another year or two. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on this awesome example of a classic Polaroid camera. Again, the Square Shooter 2. If you want to see more videos like this, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all real soon.